Jackson. His tag team partner from Dogtown, St. Louis, Missouri. He weighs 220 pounds, representing the professionals, Mauler McDarby. And their opponents, introducing first from the STL. He weighs in at 220 pounds. He is the night train, Gary Jackson. His tag team partner, from the swamps of Louisiana, weighing in at 274 pounds, Moon Dog Rovers. Your referee is Jay King. Well, fans, here we are, back tag team action on Wrestling Explosion, and what a Kind of a strange combination between Moondog Rover and the gorgeous one, the Night Train, as he's been called over the years, Gary Jackson. And sure. Ricky, you know both of them. I know both of them. There's so much experience right now in the ring. It's, it's amazing to get to see two guys like these, two legends in the, in the St. Louis scene, get in the ring and tag team against these two young lions. Exactly. And then when you look across there, you look at the likes of the big guy, the big Texan who... We almost can't call the big Texan anymore. He's he really slimmed Texan. down. But you've had some brawls with him over the years. Yeah, really tough guy, really strong, naturally strong. Is He doesn't look like a 300-pounder, but he can hit like one, I'll tell you that much. Well, and his tag team partner is somebody you were talking about a little earlier, and we're going to see him in action right here now. And uh, He seems to have a, a little voice to himself. McCarthy, tremendous wrestler. Really well round, but he's doing something that he shouldn't do it is run his mouth, especially to someone with the experience like Gary Jackson. So you can see Gary Jackson is concentrated, he's focused, he's just waiting for the moment. Well, and it's Gary that finds himself on the canvas with that big body slam. But see what I'm saying? He's not losing his school. He's not getting, you know, he's not letting him get in his head. Gary Jackson knows that uh, McDarby is uh, taking the best part right now, but he's just waiting for the moment. It's it's just like Gary. Well, and I think this Mc oh Here nice we go. arm drag. I told you he was just waiting. Oh yeah. And just that quick, that's how it, the tide turns. Tremendous body slam by Gary Jackson. McDarby finds himself outside being consoled by the big Texan and fans. That's the action you're going to see when we return here on Saturday, January the 20th, as we start 2018 off. We want to thank all of you who are watching us on your local cable access channel. We uh, encourage you to come out anywhere you see the SICW banner because there's nothing like seeing the shows live. There's People don't understand the difference. You know, you can see the show. I know everybody enjoys the show. Everybody loves, you know, wrestling, uh, watching it on TV. But there's so much that you can experience when you come live. It's so much, so much more exciting. So it's, it's something that you can't really explain. Nothing like being live in one of the shows for Face ICD. Well, and what's really good is, you know, it's a family-oriented type entertainment. You know, if you look around the audience, you see youngsters, you see uh, us older people here. Uh, it, it's really great to come out for a couple of hours and just let your hair down and root for the, the good guys, boo the bad guys, or whatever you want to do. But right now, a nice shoulder tackle on McDarby. And as you said, that's the experience paying off of a guy like Gary Jackson. That's one thing the SICW has that nobody else has. We can literally say 100% this is a family show. This is a, this is a show that you're going to see grandpa, you're going to see grandson, you're going to see everybody can come to SICW jo, uh, uh, show. And, and we have talent for all the different eras. Biting the arm. This is what people love about the dog. And look at McCarby running to the corner like, get him off me, get him off me. Yeah, it's like he's got some big old vicious uh, dog on him, and he does. Uh, do, do you think he got all his shots? Well, I don't know. You know, usually when I try to talk to him, I get a grunt or a groan. Uh, he doesn't say a lot. But, uh, the, the, you know, the moon dog's been around a long time. The family of the moon dogs from the swamps of Louisiana. It's incredible. I was just asking you before this match started. I saw him walking out with that bone that he's always carrying. 
How old do you think that bone is? Man, I I, I want to know what kind of uh, carcass that bone came off of. That, that's that's a good question too. Well, well that's, what I, that's what I was telling you when we had Abdullah the butcher here earlier uh, this, later this, earlier this year. Uh, Abdullah got involved with the moon dog, and uh, they were chewing on that bone together. And Abdullah said. That was the nastiest smelling bone, and he's ate some bones and eats all the bones. <laughs> I've seen Abdullah eat raw meat yeah. in, front, in front of people. Oh, my God. Well, you know, and that's what you were talking about earlier, Ricky. You know, in your career, being in Puerto Rico and where all the other places that you've wrestled, you've ran across the, the Abdullah the Butchers, uh, uh, Terry Funks, and, and, you know, people like that. Um, wrestling has come a long, long way. And here at SICW, you know, what we're trying to do is preserve a lot of that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know of anybody else out there that's doing it. I, I don't think there's anyone not trying to do it. I don't think there's anyone that can do it. Uh, the, the, it's not only because of SICW. It's just San Luis has such a rich history when it comes to wrestling. There's no other place that can say that uh, and, and, and still have it. Because, yes, in New York, there was wrestling all the time. There was territories in Florida. There was... but. Having this same style, this old school feeling to wrestling, I don't think there's nowhere right now in the States that can do this. No. Oh, a big boot by the big Texan on the Gary Jackson account of two. That, that's the difference between Gary and Texan. Texas is a big guy. He got a really good move there, a really big boot to the face, but he covered him on arm. You're not going to get the win on Gary Jackson just covering like that. Well, and you know, uh, Ricky, talking about the, the history of SICW, when you look at the locker room now and what it's been for several, several years now, back when you were actively in the ring, I mean, when you, I remember when you came on the scene, that escalated SICW. You know, we, 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 we turned the notch up a little bit. You brought a style that uh, we were lacking. But even as you look back now, you know, Flash Flanagan in the locker room, this, this uh, big Mark Houston. A big guy, a uh, big Clint Poe, big Texan. You know, you, you've been around a lot of independent locker rooms, and i got to say something else that we can brag about. We've got some of the biggest men in the sport today. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, and nothing against the smaller guys. Everybody has a place in it, but when you want to see the big boys in action, this is where they come to. Definitely. And and, and I was just going to say, not only the big guys, but you see guys like, like Sean Vincent, like Curtis Wilde, that they has that old feeling, old school feeling wrestling. You're not gonna see guys just jumping around and moving like like tennis ball all over the ring. You're gonna see real wrestling when you come to SICW. But talking about the locker room, it's impressive how much talent you have right now. When I got here uh, to the scene, you know, in the locker room you had so many big brawlers. You know, you talk about Ron Powers, you talk about Gary Jackson, where the big boys, the big, you know, the the, the guys to beat in the locker room. Now it's hard to tell who's the top guy. There's so many good so many. talents, so many great, great uh, uh, wrestlers right now that you can't pick one that it's that. I mean, apart from whoever's the champion, sure. But but you know what I mean. It's it's such talented group right now. Well, it's you know, incredible. You yeah, you talk about the the icon Chris Hargis, the champion, SICW champion, the Iron Man Ken Casa. You know these are these are the real deal. These are the guys that go out there and do a 60 minute match standing on their head. Uh, so it, it's really impressive, and we pride ourselves in that. And if you take and add up all the years of experience, the guys like Gary Jackson, uh, Moondog Rover, Sean Vincent in his 19th year in the business, uh, people like that. Uh, I mean, you add all that time, and then, of course, you take the, the benefit that we have of a Larry Matasek being in the dressing room. You add all those years together, it's impressive. And all the people around, you know, not uh, uh, you just said it, Having Larry Matisek around, having, uh, and I'm not, and I'm, I, I'm not gonna, I shouldn't even say this, but people like Travis Cook, with even when I don't like him and I don't like how he is, in my opinion, he he's gonna go in history in San Luis like one of the best uh, managers in wrestling. If, I hate to say it, but it's the truth, and, and I gotta give him his props on that. Um, uh, there's so, uh, big, big Daddy, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, and so much. Um, Knowledge, knowledge so yeah. much experience in, in, in what re wrestling should be and what it really is that that's what makes SICW special exactly and then you got action like this this McDarby guy really impressing me here he's winding it up like Gary says and he's dropping it hot I don't know if he's doing that as a little dropping, insult <laughs> drop it like it's hot yeah that's what Gary says I mean uh, yep. 
Yep. He may be taunting him just a little bit here. And you have a lot of young veterans. And I mean young veterans because they're still young, but they, they've been in wrestling for a long time. You just mentioned Sean Vincent. You're, you're talking about Texan, who now, um, even though he's been in wrestling for a couple of years now, he's, he's looking better than ever and the best wrestling uh, uh, physique and, and stamina that ever he, he has been. You got guys that are coming up like uh, Keith Jr., 6'5", 250 sure. pounds. You know, uh, you know they're going to go far. Hargis, another young veteran. Ken Casa, another young veteran. There's so much talent right now. Oh, yeah. It's a shame I retired, man. It's a good time for wrestling. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I think you're doing the right job. <laughs> you know, the big troll. I yeah. mean, there's a guy 400 plus pounds. Yes. When he gets in there, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So, yes, we have a locker room that uh, we're proud of, and uh, they come out here and give the fans 110%, just like this match is right here. And they'll be doing that again on Saturday night, January the 20th, when we kick off the new year right here at East Cronlet. Stay tuned to our social media page and make sure you tune in every Sunday like you are today on your local cable access channel and watch SICW Wrestling Explosion because this is where you will see the best in professional wrestling as McDarby works on the Moondog in the middle of that squared circle. And, and, and Ricky, I, we did a little post-interview earlier, uh, pre-interview of when Drew, uh, Dr. Drew asked you if you ever get that itch. I mean... I got to say, I didn't even see the glimmer in your eye. I think you're comfortable behind the mic. I'm, I'm good. I'm good where I am. I, I, I get to come to the shows. I get to enjoy the reaction of the fans. I get to talk to the fans, which is, you, as you know me, it was one of the biggest things for me, coming and spend time with the fans before or after the show. Uh, I do miss the, the crowd chanting my name, but I don't miss getting slammed <laughs> like he just did right there. Oh, no. Well, and, you know, and when you think back, you and Ron Powers, you and Flash Flanagan, you had some battles in that circle, in that, in that ring. Yeah, um, um, I had great matches that I'm going to remember forever here in SICW. Every time that I wrestled Casa was a great match for me. Every time that I wrestled uh, uh, Gary Jackson, um, there's been so, much, so many great matches that I'm going to remember from here. Um, the, when I finally got my hands on Ron Power after he left me bloody in this ring, that they spend like a week trying to get all the blood out of this building because of me. It was like a, it was it was something that we hadn't seen in a long time. In fact, it was kind of a shock to some of the fans. Uh, that, I'll never forget that man. We got action outside. We got Gary Jackson working on McDarby inside the ring. I think they're the legal men. At least that's the indication I'm getting from Jay King. Jackson off of the rope. Oh, McDarby catches a foot, trips him up, and what's he going to do? He's trying to set him up for something here, Ricky. Let's see. He's grabbing the legs. Let's see what he's going to go for. Oh, look. He got him in a little package. One, two, three. There you have it. Gary Jackson with the inside tight cradle. I thought Darby was setting him up for some type of sharpshooter or Boston Crab. But Gary Jackson using that experience and wrapped him up in a small package. As you see, Moondog. And the Texan still going at it outside. Jay King now going out to try to break them up. We're going to get some more.